Hi everyone, Mark from PocketVideoSchool.com here and uh, a few people have asked me recently um, who've seen the intro video I did for my website how I managed to create the, um, the little animation of the boulder crushing Chris, my previous business partner and uh, my son. And uh, I thought what I'd do today is go behind the scenes uh, and show you how I actually managed to do that. And it's using a free little app on my iPhone called Action Movie FX. And there's loads of little animations in there that you can have some fun with. So I'm gonna transition across to my desktop and show you live actually how I was able to do this and uh, have a bit of fun and, and see what we can create. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is make sure that you um, go to iTunes and you download the app Action Movie. And I'm going to log into Action Movie. Uh, I'm going to select all of the animations. And the one that I particularly want, obviously, is the Demolition Rock animation. So I'm going to select that. Now what you have to do, and this is vitally important, you have to record a minimum of five seconds of footage for the animation to be able to drop onto, onto your footage. So um, record a bit more, give yourself a bit of leeway. So as I say, I'm doing this on my desk, so it's not gonna look as good as the one that I did with Chris. So I'm gonna press start. And the important thing to bear in mind when you see this is, um, that you have to do it on a flat surface. So this white target has to be on a flat surface so that the animation looks correct when it's actually overlaid on top of your footage. So looks okay here. So I'm gonna press record and what will happen is you'll see there's a red outline around the screen which tells you that it's recording and then as soon as you've got five seconds worth of footage, it'll change to green. So I'm gonna press record now see it's got the red band around the, around the edge as soon as we hit five seconds changes to green I'm gonna leave it running just a little bit longer and then I'm gonna press the record button again to stop recording now what it allows me to do is to set where the animation actually comes in on the footage now if you remember on the Chris one um, he walked up to a speed bump before the actual animation hit him so this is how I managed to achieve that so it overlays at the right spot so I'm just gonna move this across a little bit just for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna press OK and it'll start rendering. Doesn't take long at all. And then it allows me to play it back. Now because of the way I'm streaming my phone to, to record this, it's not gonna play quite in sync because there's a little bit of a delay, but you'll get the gist. There you go, pops in. And it doesn't play the audio back because again, I'm streaming it and it would only play it when I've exported from my phone to my editing software. So to, to do that, to get it from your phone to your um, editing software, um, what you do is you press the button there, it says share movie, which is the download button. Uh, you've got a couple of options here. You can actually, um, I'm not quite sure, it's not showing on there, but share it as a GIF or sh share it as a movie. So I'm gonna go share movie, there you go. And what it does is it gives me the option, I can export it straight to Facebook or Twitter or email it or Instagram, but I'm gonna save it to the camera roll of my phone because that's how I get it from there into my editing software if I'm gonna put it with something else. Now, if I was just creating something that was a very short animation just to put on as a bit of fun on Facebook or Twitter, then obviously I could do that direct. So, but I'm gonna press save video and that, I wanna choose the highest possible resolution so I'll select high there we go now that's all done it's saved to my camera roll and I can show you that if I just come out of the actual app itself and I scroll back across to my photos and then just go into my camera roll and the last one that's in there as you can see I've done a few tests is the one that I've just recorded and it's, as I say, it's gonna be slightly out of sync because of the way that I'm um, streaming my phone to record on my computer. Let's record now, see. There you go, sorry about the little bit of um, audio in the background because it picks that up as well for some strange reason. So there you go, that's all done. Now, what I'll do is 
I'll just come out of that and I'm going to show you the bit I did with Chris again and just walk you through um, one of the extra bits that um, or how I actually put it together with him so I'll play that, uh, play that now for you so what I asked Chris to do was just stand still bear in mind I would have um, I would have uh, edited this so I asked him to um, walk up to just where the down lots of noise and it looks really really effective so I hope you all enjoyed that uh, nice little free app there for iPhone um, there is um, a version as well for Android slightly different with some different animations and I'll probably feature that in a different video at some other point on the on my uh, vlog so um, go away please have some fun with it uh, download it from iTunes and um, see what little creations you can come up with and uh, send me some links to let me see how you've managed to do and uh, what you've been able to come up with and um, you know the world is your oyster basically just see what you can what you can come up with don't forget if you haven't already please subscribe to my youtube channel using the link to the right hand side at be at the bottom um, and if you want to see uh, one of the other vlogs where i show you how to free up some space on your iPhone if you're starting to run out of um, storage space whenever you're shooting any of your videos then it's the link at the top here 